ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਖਾਸਾ ਵਾਹੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਫਤਿ what is a true sikh as it someone who follows the gurus unconditionally or is there a deeper meaning behind it is it someone who shows that he believes in god but not internally or is it someone who devotes his whole self to god is it someone who dies for god is it someone who does everything as the guru tells him to and does not disobey his rule or is there a different meaning to it literally the word sikh does mean student but in sikhi what is it that we are learning what is it that the gurus are trying to teach us is it something that would lead us to connecting with the parmatma or is there something that we could do the to make our lives better and to make the lives of others around us better these questions are sure to come in everyone's mind every once in a while and there's no real clear answer to all of this but my minimal knowledge allows me to think that the meanings of it are already written in guru granth sahib and as such i am talking about today rag ram kali in which the guru ji tells us what we should do and what we should not do as a sikh rag ram kali starts with the guru ji telling us to devote our bodies to the guru in which case parmatma and he says without devotion our bodies are honorless they are dishonorable what is the reason behind it is there some reason that makes us un dishonorable without believing in god without devoting ourselves to god well i believe that our body does not mean anything it's our soul that values way higher than our body because at the end it's our body that's being cremated not our soul our soul rises up to heaven and combines with parmatma it's not the body that matter it's our soul and in this sense guruji are truly telling us to do good deeds with our body so that our soul can go and get moksh by mik- by merging with the parmatma and not be stuck in this cycle of birth and rebirth furthermore a little further guruji also tells us about how maya limits our understanding of this world how maya catches us in its grasps and truth be told no one is free from maya everyone is entangled in the cycle of birth and rebirth because of maya and i do not want to be disrespectful to anyone but i want to ask this question are you truly a uh, true sikh are you truly someone who does not fall for the grasps of maya and someone who actually believes in god without caring anything about worldly possessions and common people are sure to be caught in the grass but the religious leaders i feel really embarrassed to say that even they are not free i'm not talking about everyone but many of the religious leaders it's uh, in themselves are caught so deeply into maya that they steal from guru's golak is it not dishonorable to give up everything you believe in for worldly pleasures when at the end nothing really matters it's not that you're stealing from the guru it is the understanding that you are greedy and you want it for yourself when in the truth everything is owned by the guru nothing ever is owned by any of us your body your soul your life the things around you whether it be as small as an ant or as big as an elephant is all owned by the guru the parmatma this universe is created by parmatma so there's nothing that you can steal from him there is nothing that you can take from him 
but what you can take from him is his trust. Paramatma or Guruji trusts us with doing good deeds. He trusts us that we will do good deeds for this world and so that we don't make anyone else's life miserable. But we give it up. We make others' life miserable so that we ourselves can put ourselves in worldly pleasures, enjoy those worldly pleasures which don't matter at all. So, a true Sikh is someone who tries to escape Maya's grasp. Because I know it's impossible to escape Maya truly unless you're truly enlightened, but you can still try. You can still give other your possessions so that their lives can be better on this earth. Because we are the children of God. All others are our siblings. Taking from your siblings is a deed that has been deemed a sin from thousands and thousands of years. So truly give your possessions so that others can live their lives peacefully and happily as well. Furthermore, Guruji also talks about how true bhakti is not done from the point of doing puja part. It's done from within yourselves. Because as I already said, everything in this universe is already owned by the Guru. There's nothing that you can do. There's nothing you can sacrifice. There's nothing that you can give him as chadava to strike a deal with him. There's, there's nothing. The only thing that you can truly do is believe in God from the bottom of your heart. And it is to say that religion doesn't matter in this case. This is true for every single religion out there. There's no single religion that would make it so that their beliefs are inherently evil. Everyone that believes in God wants to be kind as well. So, I say that believing in God makes you do evil, then you're not truly believing in God. Furthermore, there's no reason to give worldly possessions to God because he already owns it. Do Pagti from your bottom of your heart. Do it so that God can see that you are a true believer, that you are a true son of his, a true daughter of his. And furthermore, never betray your God. Never try to steal from him because you're not stealing away his possessions. What you're do stealing away is his trust. And this is what leads you down to the cycle of rebirth and birth and death and misery all over again. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.